Hi everybody, this is Daggerberg from Grimdark Kitchen and I am coming to you from my Grimdark garage to take a little video and document the uh, use of a dip to get some shadow on your minis. You can see I'm kind of halfway through the process this afternoon. Uh, I've taken a number of takes so far, so hopefully this one will go well. Um, basically, you dip in a shader because you don't want to take a bunch of time putting shadows on your minis. Um, what I did before all these guys as kind of a test is, if I can focus, excuse me, there we go. What I did with this guy is use Devil and Mud and a brush and just brush the whole miniature. Took about five minutes, maybe six minutes, I don't know. Um, but that adds up. When you're painting 140 orcs or Tyranids or something like that, it's uh, great to find efficiencies wherever you can, and that's what I'm trying to do today. Uh, a little variation from what normally happens online is that a lot of people will paint to completion. They'll finish their mini, and then they'll dip in a wash or a stain and get their shadow on there, and that seems to be it. Uh, what I'm doing today is different because, of course, you can see these guys aren't done. Um, they started with a bone color spray. Um, it's the, whatever Army Painter's bleached bone is. There we go. Um, just spray painted them last night. And the next process for me is to dip them in this shader. And why I'm going with this brown and why I'm doing it first is that I like the effect that uh, some friends and some folks online have gotten from doing up the skin color of orcs through washes alone, just green washes. And so this brown is not only going to add sort of a warm hue, but the dip is going to bring a lot of darker shadows that the green may not, uh, or rather that I don't want to make the green do on its own. I don't want it to be too heavy. So I'm doing this before I paint it. And I, I, I'm a little bit nervous, but positive about the possibility that paint will be a little weird going on or the washes might go on after. Um, if it doesn't work, I probably won't post this video, so you can assume that it's fine. Um, but here, here's the process. Again, instead of five or six minutes with that guy, I'm going to lift this. Well, let me tell you what I'm using. Well, let me grab it. So, pardon my... My gloves are sticky. This stain is uh, a little bit sticky and it, it certainly has a scent. So you want to do this in a ventilated area, but simple enough. Just got a glued together, painted bone orc. I'm gonna take him, I've got gloves on because I don't want the stain on my hand. And I'm gonna dip him. I'm gonna dip him and lift him right back out and let that drip off. And while I'm letting that happen, let me tell you that this is uh, just a normal wood stain. It, it happens to be a uh, minwax, polyurethane, and stain in one. I don't really know if that's an important combination, but it is the product that I've seen perhaps most often, other than an Army Painter dip. And uh, the color here is Tudor. I think it's Tudor Satin. And it's a very, very dark brown, almost black. But you can see it comes off, especially on this bone, with a, a, a nice brownish, let me get some detail there. Oh, there we go. Um, it's gonna be brown. Let me, let me shake it a little more. So I've, I've, I've let a lot drop off here, but I've also just got this box here, and I'll just kind of shake them in here. Just a shake. And uh, I haven't really gotten my process down yet. I think sort of a, wrist action that whips seems good and uh, so yeah that took quite a bit more off you can see there's shade throughout and uh, it's all liquid still so it's gonna keep moving until well probably for another minute or so like I said it's sticky and it gets sticky pretty quick so I think it stops moving but um, you know a couple shakes if you've got a lot on there, like with this axe, uh, I might want to take a little bit off. So I'm just going to grab this paper towel and let's see here. Just going to make a little contact. And I didn't take much off. 
So I don't want to dab, and I certainly don't want to rub or streak, but just make contact and let the paper towel's absorbency do its job. And so now you'll see a really good amount of detail. And it's not meaningfully different from the painted wash. I think it's a little bit heavier in some spots, but maybe that'll be good. They're orcs, it's, it's flush tones for the most part. So I'm a little bit excited about it. Uh, like I said, I don't exactly know what they'll look like uh, once I start painting over this stuff, but I'm hopeful. In about six hours or so, I should be able to tell you. Well, that's it. That's uh, using a uh, Minwax polyurethane and stain to shade your minis. Pretty good process, should save a lot of time.